Uh, we're here with Trevor from Sony, and we're looking at the upcoming Xperia S from uh, Sony, Sony Ericsson. Uh, can you just take us a uh, through a walkthrough sure. hardware and software. Definitely. I'm just gonna I'm gonna shut off the device for a second. I just want you to notice uh, it's a clean a clean monolithic look, I should say, uh, for the screen. And what we're doing with this monolithic look, it kind of mirrors the same images as our Sony Bravia televisions. Um, so again, when the phone is off, again it looks beautiful, and when it's on, it looks beautiful as well too. Um, you'll notice that we have some very bright colors here, um, and again they're very natural tone colors. And what that is is we've taken the Bravia engine, just like the Xperia Art that we had, um, we've taken the Bravi engine from our televisions and we made a mobile version and have put it into um, the Xperia S now as well. Okay, um, Just so that you guys see, um, our user interface is a little bit more spiced up on Android and instead of going left and right all the time, if I actually pinch the screen you'll see those floating widgets again, which is really cool. Yeah, and that's taken from uh, the original Gingerbread release, right? Correct. So what's, uh, what's new about this release? This one right here is still running Android 2.3.7. Yep. Um, as far as we know, we're looking in Q2 for the Ice Cream Sandwich launch, which is going to be the 4.0. Okay. With the design of this as well, too, you'll notice a clear strip right here. Okay. It's called a floating prism. And um, the reason for that is, if you look really closely, you'll see a mesh design underneath in there. And what that is, actually, is the antenna of the, the device itself. Very cool. So how does that help uh, keep signal strong? Um, as far as we know right now, it keeps signal uh, quite strong actually during the day. And I mean, what we've actually done is just given it more of an aesthetic look mm -hmm. so far and kind of went away from, from the common um, look of the antenna being on the top of the, the device. Right. Okay. Um, with this as well too, the, ca the device on here uh, boasts a 12 megapixel camera. I'm going to actually turn it this way so you guys can see. So it focuses in a little bit here. And you can find out here that it's really, really fast picture to picture snapping. Almost 0 0.9 seconds fast. So this is a full 720p display as well. That is correct. Right. Uh, the resolution here is going to be 1280 by 720. Right. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys as well too. The front facing camera on here is very, very clear. It's going to kick in here in a second for you. And you can see how sharp that is as well. What's up guys? <laughs> All right, so how many megapixels is the front camera? Um, right now it's 1.5. Okay. I'm just going to show you guys to the other options here is the 3D sweep panorama um, function that we have here as well too. So taking a nice panoramic picture uh, in 3D, you won't be able to see the 3D image on the actual screen itself. You'll be able to see it on a uh, Sony Bravia television, for instance, that has 3D. All right. So I'm just going to come out of that for a second here. Again, at the back of the device, um, this has a built-in internal memory of 32 gigs. I'm just going to pop open this for you. So the battery on this device is actually built in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's concealed, um, and the SIM card slot is right over there as well. That's a micro SIM. It's a mic. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to clip that back on. As you can see, also here, that's going to be the charging port, and on the other side, you're going to see the HDMI port along with the volume buttons and the camera button as well. So what was the, it was important to make a dedicated camera button for this device? Um, for this one, yeah, we, we found that it would be great because what we can actually do is, and you know what, I'm going to actually show it to you rather than tell it to you. I can actually have the phone in standby pretty much and if I hold down on the camera button right away, we're ready to go. Right. Right. And that's so pretty fast. It's very, very fast. Okay. okay. Cool. So um, this is looking to come out sometime Q2? Yeah, this is looking to come out sometime in Q2. Um, that's basically what we're told. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be a global release. Okay. Um, the Sony Ericsson Ion that you probably had shots of footage on a little bit earlier, that's going to be for North America. Um, we're looking for Q2, Q3 on that one All right. as well. But at, pretty much in a nutshell, that is the uh, Xperia S that you have here. Um, uh, it's boasting a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor at, as well. Um, from Qualcomm. Dual, dual, core. dual core, yes. Yep. Dual core as well. So other than that though, we're really excited about this device and uh, hopefully we see this soon. Alright, thanks very much. Thanks so much Daniel, appreciate it.